Hello and welcome back to the Kilti videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the max function in Excel. We use max function to find the largest or maximum number from a range of cells. So let us show you how max function works. So we go to A14 and we begin with typing equal, the name of the function and we hit tab to complete the function. We can see that max function takes number arguments and it can take up to 255 number arguments where the first argument is required and the rest are optional. Arguments can be numbers, name range, arrays or cell reference to the location in the worksheet. So now we select A8 to A12 range and then we hit enter and function returns 8 which is the largest value amongst these 5 numbers. Now let's see what happens when along with the range we enter some value in the function. So we type max function in cell B14 and then we select B8 to B12 range in the first argument and in the second argument we type 15. Now we tell function to compare this range with the second argument. Now we hit enter and function returns 15 which is in the second argument. We can also enter the logical test and tell function to return the maximum value by testing all the arguments. So let's say we go into the add it mode in cell and in the third argument we say 5 multiplied by 4 and we hit control enter. The function now returns 20 because if you look carefully in the third argument which is actually a logical test and returning to 20 and hence function returns 20 as the largest value among the range and logical value. In the next example, we have blank cells in the range which we will refer in the function. So we type max function in cell C14 and we select range from C8 to C12 which contains two blank cells and we hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function still returns the maximum value which is 6 in this case from the given range. It is because max function ignores the blank cells within the range. And now go to D14 and type max function and we will take now D8 to D12 and before we hit enter, we can see that D11 has text in it. So now let's see what max function would return to. So we hit enter and we get 9 which is the largest and maximum number in the given range because just like blank cells function ignores text contained within the range but what happens if we directly type some text into the function double click on d14 to get into the edit mode and type any random text in the second argument so we type excel in double quotes and we hit enter surprisingly function now returns value error it is because if any of the arguments are entered directly to the function which cannot be recognized as numeric value it would return value error now we will go to E14 and type max function and hit tab go to complete the function. Now we will see and test what happens if there are any error value in the range or cell we are going to take in the function. So we select range E8 to E12 where cell E10 has any error in it. So we hit enter and the function returns the same any error which is there in cell E10 because the function cannot have any error value in the range which we are referring to and hence it returns an error as an answer. So this is how max function works and we can use it in a different situations. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.